you guys doing by my Christmas tree? Oh, you guys came by for a story? Great, because I have one for you today. Today, I want to read you a story that's called Little, Little Santa by Jonna G. And remember, as you're listening to the story today, listen and see if you can figure out who the characters are, the people or the animals in our story, and what is the setting? Where are our characters at? We'll talk about it at the end. Little Santa, written and illustrated by Jonna G. In the North Pole, in a little cabin, lived Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And their seven children, Larry, Mary, Willie, Millie, Joey, Zoe, and Santa. Life was tough in the North Pole. Every day there was more wood to be chopped more snow to be shoveled, another fish to be caught, a quilt to be mended, and a fire to be stoked. The clauses were miserable. Except for Santa, he loved the North Pole. He liked making snow angels and snowmen, decorating pine trees, baking gingerbread cookies and shapes of people. Most of all, he liked sliding down the chimney. So, when the Clauses decided to move to Florida, Santa was very sad. Won't you miss all the pine trees and the icicles and the miles and miles of snow? No, Santa, they said. We won't. Well, that night, as everybody packed, there was a terrible blizzard. The next morning, the house was buried under a huge snowdrift. The Clauses were trapped. What are we going to do? asked Mrs. Claus. I know, said Santa. I can shimmy up the chimney. So Mr. and Mrs. Claus gave Santa some food and some snowshoes, and they sent him to get help. After a long walk, he came to a little branch. Ho, 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 said Santa. You must be the top of a tall tree. No, said a voice. I'm a very c -c 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 cold reindeer. Santa dug the reindeer out of the snow. G -g Gosh, said the reindeer. What are you doing out here? Santa told the reindeer about his family. Well, hop on my back, said the reindeer. We'll look for help. Gee whiz, said Santa. You're a pretty special reindeer. On a tall bluff, they saw a house. A light was on inside. Stop here, said Santa. The reindeer landed, and Santa slid down the chimney. The house was full of elves. Holy snowflake, said the oldest one. Who are you? Santa introduced himself and he told the elves about his family. Well, we can help, said the elf. We'll make shovels so we can dig them out of the snow. In no time at all, the shovels were made. Now, Santa, said the elf, how will we get to your house? I have a flying reindeer, said Santa. Wow, said the elf. And do you have a sleigh too? What's a sleigh, said Santa. Well, well, said the elf. I guess we'll build you one. The next morning, it was finished. Santa hooked up the reindeer and everybody climbed aboard. Ready? said the reindeer. Ready, said Santa, and off they went to look for Santa's house. Far away, the clauses were waiting for Santa's return. It was almost midnight when the dog heard a familiar noise coming from the chimney. Could it be Ho, 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 said Santa. I'm home. The clauses were overjoyed. 
but there was more noise coming from just outside. Santa opened the door. Look, everybody, said Santa. These are my new friends. Welcome, said Santa's family. Well, it was a good year in the North Pole. The Clauses and the Elves spent a lot of time together, and life wasn't as tough as it had been before. But when winter came, Santa's family decided to move to Florida after all. Santa, he stayed behind. And you know the rest of the story.